Okay, now we continue. I should also mention this is also the last episode of the Isle of Armor. This playthrough, this one is not going to be long. Because once I'm done here, I'm just going to devote my time to grinding. Though if you would like to see me do a bonus episode where I find all the diglets that are in this island and show everyone where all of them are at, that'd be nice. Though, I don't know. I know that there are videos around where you can do that. Plus, I'm also kind of burnt out for doing so much. Hello, what have we here? Didn't I? Oh, wait, I didn't catch an applin. Though it's more annoying because trying to get those is a pain. Whose bright idea was it to name a Pokemon after an apple? Yeah, it's an applin. Up away. Applin, no way! This is rotten. I don't see that Applin anywhere. But I'm sure when rolling off this way, Hosei, we go to find that Applin. What he said? Nice, you gave me a bottle of spice mix. Thanks. Always make sure to check with other trainers. You may get like a lot of different. Hey, what's this now? Huh? Something wrong with that battery tray? Ouch! The Applin clocked me right in the head! Uh, run off again! Huh? Uh, Jose, is your head feeling a bit moist? It's gonna be Applin's nectar on you. It might have given us the slit, but at least we still got what we came for. But is Applin's nectar sweet enough for Urshifu? Or like they say, the proof's in the pudding, or the Applin. So let's give it a try! Dude, what's wrong with you? Hmm, I don't think you would describe it as sticky exactly. It's more like juice or something. Lillian's nectar wasn't it. Applin's nectar wasn't it. They weren't really sticky enough to be the sticky honey that Urshifu loves. Come to think of it, they aren't really honey at all, are they? I was thinking nectar and honey were the same thing. So I was looking for plants and flowers. But I was just barking up the wrong tree? Whoa, a venipede! I don't see one of those every day. It's cute looking, right? But can it produce a really thick, gooey poison inside its body, making it pretty dangerous? Hop, ah, don't be stupid. That's it! I was stuck on Pokemon that produce nectar, but what we really need is a Pokemon that uses that sort of nectar to produce something else. You just noticed? Yes! And when it comes to Pokemon that collect and store lots of nectar to make honey, well, the answer is obvious, right? Beehive. The Beehive Pokemon is going to be the answer. I'm sure of it this time. And Vespaquen is the Beehive Pokemon, right, Jose? Have you ever seen one? If we're talking about the Isle of Armor, I think we should find some on the island that's shaped like a honeycomb over near that big blue tower. Now they'll know where we're going. I'm off. Don't make me wait, Jose. This guy is really going to end up being the enemy. Find Vespaquen on a hexagonal island. It's this one. Honeycomb Island. Let's first get out of here. I'm already like four minutes in this video. Like I said, I should mention that this is probably the last episode of Isle of Armor. Because after this, I'm going to devote all my time just to finding like everything. Wait, why is there a sandstorm right now? Uh, let's check my map. Yeah, we're getting close. Incoming Sharpedo! And this thing wants me so bad, he can taste it. Fine, let's go, buddy. Urshifu, superpower! Rough skin! Oh, not good.
Good work, my friend. You leveled up. Okay, so where in the heck am I supposed to land? Oh, not good. That thing's coming fast. Oh, I see. Fine, I gotta keep moving. Gotta hit light speed. Come on, Sharpedo, what's your problem? Makes me wish it had like something like a thunder punch or something. With all that attack strength it has, plus the fact that mine's a jolly nature. Yeah. Again, how many torpedoes do I have to deal with right now? I hated dealing with these things. I am not dealing with you right now. Okay. Where in the map do I have? Where am I? There. Honeycomb Island. Not again! Three, two, go! This thing doesn't give up! We reached the insular sea. Finally. Screw you. Oh, not again. Not again. Come on. This must be the island. And it's home to executors. And executes. Are we, eh? Are we in this island? That's the insular sea. I'm looking for Honeycomb Island. No, I had no idea a place like this exists. Then this must be that island. Then where is the hexagonal island? Seriously. This is giving me the creeps. Wait, don't I have a rappel to deal with this junk? Yeah, I do. You want anything better than... Yeah. This must be the island. Uh, 
Oh, it's I forgot those things brain fast when you're on like a bike. Oh, sup, Wilmer. So this must be it. Nice, we get TR-96, we teed his pollen puff. There you are, Zai. Glad you could finally mic it. I've seen loads of Combi around, but no sign of Vespiquin so far. But they're the only ones that have sticky honey. Huh? I powered up. I borrowed a power spot the tether from Sonia. Why is he going off now? Is it Riyadh in this tree here? Something's got to be up, Jose. I think we should check it out. Yeah, let's shake the tree. What is happening now? Whatever it is that came from the tree sucks you into the Pokemon dead. A Dynamax Vespiquen. Urshifu, my old friend. Let's go. It exerts its pressure. Nice of you. Yep, we have a Dynamax battle against the Dynamax Vespiquen. And now you get to see Dynamax Urshifu. And this is before G-Max. Let's do it! Max Rockfall! A sandstorm would certainly be nice. Max Airstream! Oh no! I forgot to heal! I'm sorry, my old friend. Though it does serve a purpose. Corviknight! I'm gonna make you G-Max, my friend. Just you wait. Let's Max revive our friend. How unpleasant. Thank God my Corviknight's a steel type. Let's hit it where it hurts with Brave Bird. Wait a minute, since when did it get a Max Knuckle? And when can it learn Max Knuckle? That should do it. Turn out it was a Dynamax Vespa Quinn. The aftershocks of the battle cause a strange comb of honey to fall from above. Nice. 
Honey that Dynamax Vespa Quen produces. Adding this honey to Max Smooth Max Soup makes it taste very smooth. It also has the same effect as a Max Robot. I sure wasn't expecting a Dynamax Vespa Quen to come swooping out to attack us. I was too shocked to even think of joining you in the battle. That is some seriously sticky honey. I'm sure it's that certain something Urshifu loves. And it seems like that honey was setting off the power spore detector, too. The Max Mushrooms and this honey you can find here on the Isle of Armor. They both seem to have some kind of tie to Dynamoxing and Gatamoxing. There's tons we don't know yet know about it, so there's tons of research just waiting to be done. Come on, you got the thing you were looking for, so let us head back to the dojo at once. Yeah, let's head back to the master. You are going to get your... I am going to restock after all this. I swear it. And I'm more likely going to be starting off raising a second team. Let's head back to the dojo and get this done. Alright, now that we're back... Wait. Tony, you want me to help you? Is that your... Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, Tony, but as much as I want to take on a dig on this thing, I need a Pokemon that can withstand the crap that it brings out. Welcome back, my wandering Wulu. Oh, and what is this sweet scent I detect? Wafting through the air around you. Hehe, <laughs> that'd be the Max Honey that Urshmoo loves to the Max. We got our hands on a nice hole of it. Did you now? Already? You put me and Jose on it, old man. There's nothing the two of us can't do together. <laughs> you did a real bang-up job finding the Max honey with hardly a hint from me. Very nicely done, Jose. And a little hop, too. You didn't forget for a second what that certain something was, did you? If we add Max honey to our Max soup, even Urshifu will be sure to want to sip. Well, it's been real, Jose, but I think you've learned just about everything the Master Jojo has to teach you. Which means that you and I can finally have a proper battle, with absolutely no holding back. I could use a bit of training if I'm going to be ready for what's to come, after all. I won't be pulling any punches t this time, kiddo. If you think you're really ready for me when I'm serious, then come to the battle court out back. Our first priority is to Gigantamax that thing. We're not going to have an advantage if we don't. Battling the Masters when he's serious. That's seriously terrifying. He's the one who taught Leo all he knows, so Mustard's got to be one wicked strong trainer. Of course he is. Steal your spirit for serious battle, Jose. I guess I better start getting serious about the research I came here to do too. Good luck with your things, Jose. I'm sure you'll manage, like you always do. I'll come dashing right back to catch that battle, though, if you do try tricking on Master Mustard. I can make some Max, max Soup that even Cup Fu's Evolution Urshifu will drink. As long as you got both Max Honey and Max Mushrooms, that is. Jose, yes. There's only one Pokemon that I do, but only certain Pokemon are compatible with it. Urshifu, Dreadnought, if you look through your list, you'll see it. Yeah, many of the Pokemon that can be able to G-Max evolve without the need for it. And there's a lot. My oh my. What am I going through? Even Cinderace? Guess I'm going to have to work on getting as much honey as possible. If this Urshifu drinks Max Soup, It'll become capable of the Deanna Max. I'll use three clusters of Max Mushrooms and one comb of Max Honey to make Max Soup. Is that alright? Nice. And with that, we now have our Max G Max Pokemon. He's Gigantamaxed and ready. I, and yeah, that means I'm going to have to start and get as many Max Mushrooms as possible. Why is that? Simple. So I can G-Max the Pokemon I need. I may have to start running a new team for the purpose of Wi-Fi battling. But now it's time we put an end to this. Only one match remains, and then we're done. Woohoo! 
Ready for another battle with little old mate? Hehe, <laughs> that's what I want to hear. Then let's mosey on over to the battleground. You know, I've been thinking more and more of these dice, about how fortunate we were to have you join the dojo. Even if it was by mistake at first. I can't thank you enough, Jose. It's been a while since I've been so excited. I can feel my blood burning and my heart just dancing with anticipation. I just can't resist a battle against a worthy opponent, no matter how old I get. Now then, let's get things going. This is the most fun time in the world. We face Dojo Mastered Mustard in one final battle. And he's not pulling any punches either. Here's the thing, neither are we. Let's do this. It's been a while since I faced such a strong opponent. My blood's boiling over. Time to see exactly what all this training is made of you. Let's do this, my friend. Aerial Ace. That's cute. A fake out? Please. I get some HP back with some leftovers. Aha! I see you've got your fundamentals now, Pi. But that alone won't cut it. Close combat. <laughs> Seems like victory smiles on me tonight. That will not do you any good. Here, yeah, Surgeon Strikes! luck over to your side, have you? This just makes you all the more enticing an opponent. Corviknight leveled up, as did Rillaboom. He also sends a Corviknight out, which means I bring out my secret weapon. Well done, my friend. Return. Bolton! I'm counting on you! Why don't we nuzzle it up, shall we? Body press? I did not expect him to have that. Too bad you're going down. Wild charge! Well done, my friend. A fighting in dragon type. Now let me show you mine. He sends out Kamoa. Time for you to taunt so you don't try anything dumb. Yep, it can't use Clang or Soul. That should hold you back. but it can use Aura Sphere, which makes the damage neutral. How about this instead? Feel my fury, Brave Bird! That should deal with you. Bolton's at 89. 
You did your best, my friend. Rillaboom, I'm counting on you. Unfortunately for you, I'm the least bit in. Oh, really? An intimidate? Surely you jest. You jest. I need to get him back to full health if I'm going to have any chance of survivability. Play rough. Well, since Win and Luxray decided to be more challenging. Sadly for you, you're about to get a shock to your systems. Or a tremor! I remember owning a Luxray. So many good memories with him. Very good. Now it sends out a lichen rock. Nothing I can't handle. Yep, it's the daylight one. Damaging! And he gets a crit? Lucky him. Now he sends out his Urshifu. I'm bringing out mine. Now you're gonna get a showcase of G-Max. My skills are only getting sharper. Try not to get captivated by my might. And this is, it's the same thing, but it's different. Let's do this, old friend. G-Max, rapid flow. I swear it, my friend, we've been together for a while. But let's see our bonds can test the test of the strength of time. And it's at max level. Now become the gigantic fist that breaks your opponent as one would smash to a board. Really, he throws it like a Hadouken? This is too exciting. Shaw, G-Max, Rapid Flow! Poison? He blankets the fuel with poison. That will not save you. Max Knuckle! He is trying to build up that super attack. But what for? Let's end it. Max Airstream! We did well, my old friend. We did it. <laughs> Strength ebbs and flows in an endless circle. One moment you cross it, and the next it slips from your heart. But the strength you now have, the strength that let you defeat me, it is unwavering. Congratulations from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> I held absolutely nothing back, and yet you still defeated me. The apprentice surpasses his master. A true moment of pride for the master.
You deserve a very special lead card from me. We get his rare lead card. It seems I will have to redo my own training from scratch. Oh, darling, did I hear right? You actually lost? Ah, so you're kind. You know I can't resist seeing you get all serious about battle, you cheeky thing. You look utterly dashing, darling. Oh, but look at me getting all distracted. You were amazing, Jose. Looks like we'll need to have some max soup tonight to celebrate. I knew you weren't just a new student. I think I'll call you Master Newbie from now on. Well, I'm not surprised one bit, Jose. I knew you'd win. And you were fabulous too, Urshifu. Um, Hosei. Clara. I just, well, I guess I should congratulate you. But I won't. Why should I celebrate anything you do, huh? Still, that cleared up a lot. You're strong enough to beat the master going all out. I never stood a chance. But the next time I face you, I'll take you on fair and square. And I won't lose. You'll see. I don't think I'll lose. Ugh, you're downright infuriating, you know that? Almost as bad as I am. Well, at least she's aware of her own flaws. Well, that wraps up the last of the training here at the Master Dojo. Oh, back to normal, huh, Master? Ozai, I hope you'll come by and have more battles with me from time to time. It'll make things fun, just so we're ready for when the time comes. <laughs> oh, don't worry, you'll find out what I'm talking about eventually. Anyway, let's all head back, shall we? Like one big family. Yeah! And with that, we're done. That's it. I can't believe you beat the master even when he was serious. Jose, you might be able to tackle the dojo's most grueling type of training ever, restricted sparring. If you have the courage to try it, let me know. I would, but my work is pretty much over and done with. What are you gonna do now, Hop? Oh, you know what? I ran into that one gym leader at the station when I came here to the Isle of Armor. You remember the one? I guess all sorts of folk are starting to come here to the island to train a bit. Wait, where is she? There's the master still playing on his Switch. No, I'm serious. That has to be the most self-referential thing I've ever seen. At least, we're pretty much done here with the Isle of Armor. This isn't long. But now we have the island to ourselves to catch Pokemon, evolve, train, you name it. The possibilities are limitless now. So yeah, we're finished here. We're done here. But wait, something's missing. Where's Clara? Seriously, where is she? I gotta find her before my episode before this is done. Like I said, if you guys want me to still see anything else that comes, let me know. But other than that, my work is finished. My time is pretty much up. Did Clara actually leave? Or maybe she decided to head off the train on her own. But regardless, I can say that I had a lot of fun doing this. I would like to thank you guys all for watching because that's pretty much all there is. Now after that... You have the entire island to explore and to find what you need. And yeah, there will be a lot for me to do. But for me right now, I want to go back and get the work that I need to get finished. Because to me, that is my priority more than anything else. Oh yeah, let's get that TR right there. We forgot about that. TR-64, Focus Blast. So yeah, that's it. I'm done with the Isle of Armor. If you ever want to see more stuff from me, feel free to let me know. If you enjoy it, please be sure to hit the... Hit the... Oh, I forgot. Please be sure to hit the like button. It means a lot to me. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell. All this helps out big time. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out. See you next time. And thank you.